Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my first update for Throwback 30 for this year. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica. The goal of this project is to roll in 30 items for 30 different project prompts. Those are prompts that we vote on in the Fantastic Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group a couple months before the project starts and you have to kind of be able to look at the project and see what the prompts are and then pick which one you'd like to work on and which product you'd like to work on. So we started with 30 items. I have, since it's only been a month, I have 15 items that I have some progress on that I want to share with you. So let me go ahead and get started. Before I go there, I just want to say there is still time, of course, to join this project if you're interested. It's only been a month and you can set some, you know, easier usage goals if you'd like to do that. So I will link the project page in the Fantastic, Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group if you're interested. All right, moving on to the items I have some progress on. The first one is for 50 Shades of Pink and I rolled in this MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Brave. I rolled this in to finish. Here is how this is looking now. I think I've used this a handful of times, so there's not like any progress that I can show, but I am wearing it today. It's actually underneath or on top of a like bright pink lip liner. So it's a little bit more vibrant than it is normally, but I do really do like this color. It's a really pretty pink. So we'll see. I do want to finish this. This would be wonderful to get out of my collection. Next project prompt is 50 Shades of Purple. So I rolled in the Ole Hendrickson Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. I've used this a couple of times. That is how much, this is how much product is left in here. I don't know where it was before I started because I didn't mark that, but I've used it a couple of times. I'm focusing on another cleanser in this project that's a little bit better for the drier, um, the more humid months like the summer. And then this will be kind of my primary focus in the fall when my skin is a little bit drier. So I really do love this cleanser. It's lovely. It has been discontinued though. Next project prompt is Budget Beauty. And I decided to roll in this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And I rolled this in to finish. I have been using this quite a bit. Like I've been using it with two other concealers. I'm doing a, like a little bit of a concoction. This is nice, I, but it doesn't have like the fullest coverage. It's a little bit on the lighter side, so I've been mixing it with this Urban Decay Naked Skin in Light Neutral. And because it doesn't have the best coverage, I do like the concealer, don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for a little bit of a, a little bit more coverage concealer, if that makes sense. I don't think it did. Anyway, I so I'm mixing it also with this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I just use a teeny tiny bit of this and mix it with these two. And I really do like how that turns out. So anyway, you can kind of see my windowing. It's all the way down here. So I am not quite at a half, but close, I think. So this is coming along nicely. It only has seven, well, it has 7.5 mils. Uh, let's see. This as an example has five mils in it. And this one has nine. And I know it takes me a while to get through the MAC one. The like the Tarte Shape Tape has 12. I think Lancome's All Over Concealer, which is one of my favorites, has 14. So it has a decent amount, but it's something I can definitely get through faster than other concealers. Next project prompt is Child of the 80s. I chose the prompt Indiana Jones and we're to roll in a product from an indie brand. So I chose Cleona's Glitter Multichrome in Trinket. And I rolled all of these eyeshadows that I'm working on in for 20 uses. I'm currently at eight. This is gorgeous. I really do love this one as a topper. Oh my goodness. I mean, a topper on its own, whatever. You know, I'm working on my Norvina palette, so this is a great topper. I love this color. Love Cleona. Next project prompt is color pan. That's you bring in any color pop product. I decided to roll in this color pop lippy stick in Lumiere. I love this color. I want to use half of what's in here. That's how much is left. I've used this one a couple of times as well. I think I may have forgotten to mark 
my starting point on a lot of these. So I may have to go back and just check in my book because I don't think I marked them. Anyway, there's the color. Like I said, I've only used it a couple of times, but this is beautiful. So we're gonna use half of that. Next project prompt is Day of the Dead. I chose the second prompt of that. And the progress I have is on the second part of prompt number two, which is celebration, an item that you celebrate because it works amazing for you. So I rolled in the Hourglass Lighting Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. I rolled this in for 30 uses. I've only used it one time, but I have used it. It's one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. So anyway, a ways to go, but I did use it that one time. Next project prompt is Disney Princess. I chose the prompt Mulan and you were to bring in a blue or green product. So I rolled in the Caudalie Overnight Detox Oil. This is one of my favorite oils. I have started to use this, but you can barely tell. I mean, it was at the very top and you can see where I am now. I will go ahead and mark this, but I'm mixing this, cur I'm currently mixing this in with my evening moisturizer because I don't need a lot of face oil right now but I still use it. If I if I use too much face oil in the summer, I especially right here, I get these little whiteheads. So I'm just avoiding that area and I put it everywhere else because my skin is dry. Anyway, I really do love this oil. So I will go ahead and get this marked so I know my progress for next month. The only problem is sometimes because it's an oil, the marker rubs off. I'm wondering if I should use my paint pen. Okay, we'll, we'll see if that little line stays with using it regularly we will see next project prompt is happy hour and I chose the prompt craft beer an item from an indie brand so I pulled in my Tammy Tanuka pigment that I pressed into a pan in the shade icing this is so pretty I love to use this when I do blue looks oh, oh my goodness I've used this six times and like I said I want to use it 20 so there's the shade there. Sorry for my Band-Aid. I have a really bad burn from cooking. I burned it in the oven and instead of having you guys have to look at it, I put a Band-Aid over it because it doesn't look pretty. So 14 uses to go on that. Next project prompt is Nightmare on Panning Street. I chose the prompt seven, an item that's still in its box packaging. What's in the box? Now I haven't started using this yet, but I will have progress starting, uh, well, before the next update. I rolled in the Keys Soul Care Nourishing Cleansing Balm. I am working on a cleansing balm now, but I'm really close to finishing it. So this will be rolled in after that. I'm kind of excited to try this because I've, of course, never tried it before. And I just wanna see what the packaging's, I've never even opened this, what it looks like. All right, so there is the balm, the packaging, I should say. And let's see, oh, okay, there we go. There's the cleansing balm. It's a clear, I haven't seen a clear cleansing balm yet. So anyway, we'll see how that is. I'm excited to try it. Next project prompt is same pan last year and I chose Women's History Month which is the month of March, a product from a female owned brand. So I chose this Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Hope. It's this product here. I rolled this in for 30 uses. I've only used it one time. I've got several cream blushes and projects right now. So this one's kind of taking a back seat. It's probably a better blush for me whenever I don't have a tan anyway. So, but yeah, I did use it one time and it's Gorgeous, gorgeous, I love this one. Next project prompt is Skin Is In and I chose this Algenist Gentle Rejuvenating Cleanser. This is the one that I was telling you I'm using mostly now. You can see I had a ton of progress in the last month. I don't love this cleanser, but I have two of these and I need to at least finish one and I've had these a while. This has four ounces of product. I should have this finished before the next update, that is my guess. I mean, it's fine. Actually, if I mix it with a lot of water, it doesn't dry my skin out as much as if I really don't add much water to it. So that's kind of how I've been using it lately. It does have some, like, not micro exfoliating powder or anything like that, but it does have a product in there that feels like it may exfoliate a little bit, but I don't feel like it does much. 
but it is and it is a little bit drying on my skin so anyway hopefully i'll have this finished before the next update next project prompt is that's expensive i decided to roll in a perfume this is by atelier cologne and the scent is pomelo paradise i rolled this in to use a quarter of the bottle i've used this a couple of times i didn't see the point in marking let's see oh it's on the side let's see if you can see well i guess i no yeah i've used this a couple of times you can see i barely have any progress there and that's what i need to get to i've been working on some minis that are doing a roll out of my collection that's that are in my turn and burn project so this one's kind of taking a back seat i may end up holding off on using this until the spring because it's got a grapefruit note to it and with me focusing on some other things this may kind of get pushed to the side so i may start working on this like March time frame February March time frame probably more like March the next project prompt is turn and burn and I do have another little perfume this is by Toka it's the scent Simone and I rolled this in to finish of course I do have progress on this as you can see I'm over halfway done with this so this is one I'm kind of trying to focus on right now I actually don't mind this one at all Toka is usually very floral and this is pretty yeah, I'm gonna put some on right now because it's it's so nice. Oh, I really like this one. This is probably the only Toka perfume that I have used that I actually enjoy, enjoy enough to maybe in the future purchase. I have seen Toka at TJ Maxx. I don't I haven't looked to see what if Simone is one of the ones that they have there, but if I see it there, I may pick it up because it's really nice. Next project prompt is Women Who Rock. I chose the prompt to run the world, girls, product from a female owned brand. So I chose Terra Moon's Cosmetics Eyeshadow in the shade The Cosmos. This is stunning. Again, rolled it in for 20 uses. I'm up to seven. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Mm. <gasps> So 13 uses to go on that. The last project prompt I can share with you is Zodiac Panner. I chose Virgo, that is my sister's Zodiac sign. And the prompt for that is green and dark brown. Now I have not started using these, but I will before the next update. These are the next eye patches I'm gonna work on by Peter Thomas Roth, the Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. So these will have some use before the next update. These are really nice. They're not my favorite, but I do enjoy them. I do feel like you have to set these upside down in order for the top patches, the eye patches on the top, to get some good serum on them. And I haven't had any issues with these leaking, but I wanna say Valerie had one that did leak. So we'll see. Come here. Hi, come here. Oh, he's coming. Hi, Zig. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, what you doing, baby? What's up? He said no. <laughs> Thanks for that view, Zig. You're going to sit down? I'm like at the end of filming and now he wants to join us. Ziggy. Hi, baby. Hi. Okay. Anyway, that is my update for today. So I've started to work on about half these products or about to work on about half. So I still have plenty of products that I haven't pulled in yet, but there's no point in talking about them if I don't have any progress on them. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. The goal of this project is to roll in 30 items for, for not 40. Next project prompt is skin is in. So I know that's not right. Okay, bye.